Okay, Biology 105 Anatomy students, let's take a quick look at the osteology of the vertebral column. Now, you can look at your brief atlas quick guide on page 25. Now, let's start with the segments of the vertebral column. You have C1 through C7, which makes up the neck. You have T1 through T12, this portion makes up the mid back and then we have our lower back made of L1 through L5. Next we have the sacrum. The sacrum is a fusion of five separate vertebrae and then this little feature right here, our tailbone, let me straighten up our tailbone here, is the coccyx made of four or five bruised bones. Now guys, the vertebrae or the vertebral column, the VC, is a flexi segment curve rod. It balances the head and also coming out in front we have the ribs and the viscera and then here at the bottom portion of the spinal column or the vertebral column, it, the lower extremities suspend inferiorly. So guys, now the next thing we're going to talk about is what's called primary curves and secondary spinal curves. Now, the primary curve is made of the thoracic and the sac sacral vertebrae. The secondary curve is made of the cervical and the lumbar vertebrae. The primary thoracic and sacral curves are anteriorly concave concave, they're caved in. The cervical and the lumbar vertebrae anteriorly, they're convex, they're convex, they're rounded out. Now, the purpose of the primary and the secondary curvature is to cr increase strength, stability, and mobility of the vertebral column.